views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. One combo, 100% damage. Can't dodge it. <laughs> Game developers really need to start making games that are challenging and not just, oh, something really cheap because we can't develop something that's actual challenge, it's just artificial bullshit. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my god. And the thing is, he was dead. I had him dead until the game put me between two fucking dressers. Wow. I can't hit him. I can't hit him! The lightning heads are infinitely comboing me! I can't move! The lightning heads infinitely combo me! I- oh my god! This sucks! And I die, the last fucking guy. Cause my stupid AI idiot got downed and fucking stopped distracting him so I couldn't do all my buffs. What a stupid dunce, he fucked me over. The thing is, now I should be fine cause now I should have all my magic filled up. So I should be able to, to, you know, not run out at the end there. I should be fine to beat him now. What the? What's going on? No! I can't move! Guys, I'm, I can't move! I'm dead, it's over. The game's over. The guy's like, fucking shit, this fucking, fuck this guy. Piece of fucking shit. I hate this fucking team. I hate these fucking players. I hate my fucking life. I'm going home. I'm drinking a whole thing of fucking Jack tonight. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. It was must have been a glitch. I sleep because it's night. I'm like, oh, when I go up there, I want it to be daytime. I just die for no reason. Polly Mori tipped a dollar says, put your glasses on so your eyes won't hurt. Money is everything. Uh, if I needed to, I would. My eyes seem to be fine now. Plus, like I said, that's the new thing for hitting the tip skull, doubling the tip skull. We haven't doubled the tip skull since the cowboy hat incident where I said there was no way I could wear the cowboy hat. So I don't think that that's really going to be a factor anymore. Tonight, I guarantee you, you're going to have assholes coming in here. They're going to be trying to derail the stream. They're going to be doing negative stuff. They're going to be, you know, cheering and tipping and saying fucking stupid shit to try to get me riled up and to try to get me, you know, derailed and talking about the tractor shit that I'm not going to talk about. So I'm going to adhere to my own rules. We're going to have a good chill, chill stream here tonight. I'm going to ignore their fucking nonsense, all right? I hope you guys understand why that, you know, talking about that stuff is basically counterproductive to trying to have a chill stream to begin with but the fact that these idiots just consistently you know want to try to harass me i've had enough of it and i just don't put up with their shit all right so we're not having any discussions about that shit tonight at all um you know let them spin sit and spin in their own fucking horseshit circles and leave me out of it i'm here to have a fun chill minecraft stream tonight that's all i care about so uh, excuse me holy shit phew Oh, yeah, BWT says, didn't I have an interaction with Kenny Omega on Twitter talking about possibly playing Street Fighter? Yes, in fact, so this was years ago. This was probably, I want to say, about two years ago. I, I could be wrong, but I think it was about two years ago. Uh, people on Twitter were talking about the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection because it was about to come out. And I believe Kenny Omega was tweeting about it. And I remember, I, I told you I follow wrestling, so he popped up in my feed talking about Street Fighter. So I actually tweeted him, and I was like, hey, man. You know, I'm a, a huge fan of old school Street Fighter. And if you are too, maybe we can just get some exhibition matches. You do an exhibition set in a few of the games or whatever. I think it would be neat. And he retweeted me back because he saw I was a very fight account and everything. He's like, yeah, man, that sounds good. I'll, you know, we'll see. And then immediately, of course, all of my haters and detractors completely bombarded him with nasty tweets. Don't you know that's the guy who did this on stream? The guy who stole this and did this and that and this. And you don't want to associate with him and this and that. And then apparently, like, he stopped responding. Because he just didn't want to deal with their assholes. And then people started attacking him for, like, saying that he would not do it. Whoa, so you're going to do it? Oh, so you're going to do it? What kind of a wrestler are you? This shows you're no fan of the fighting game community or anything because you don't know who Dark Side Phil is. And blah, blah. So basically, it was just, like, insane harassment. And he just said, you know, all I did was respond nicely to a guy's tweet. Nothing at that. I never promised him anything. You people are fucking, like, really jerks about this. So, you know, screw it. And that was it. That was the end of it. And after that, I was like, there's no reason for me to even bother this guy again. Because this, this is a guy just trying to be nice and saying, yeah, maybe I'll play some matches with someone randomly on the internet. And he just got harassed because of my fucking trolls. Not because of anything I did, but because my trolls are pieces of fucking shit. And they basically harassed the shit out of him to the point where he's like, well, it ain't worth it anymore. You liar, you.
I'm good at lying. <laughs> and I did I do anything in that situation to cause any kind of problems to anything with Kenny Omega negatively? No, what not nothing at all. Absolutely not. And Kenny Omega, all he was doing was trying to be nice and say, sure, maybe I'll do some matches with you. And he gets fucking harassed like crazy online because of it. So how do you think he fucking feels? Right? So it's pretty messed up. And that's my life. That's the situation of my life. Is like literally everything that I do is just fucked up because of these idiots. And it sucks. I don't want to have that kind of life for the rest of my life. I want to have a normal life. I want to feel like I can have the same opportunities as everybody else, but these people take them away from me constantly with their insanity. You're the person who actually is sick, not me. Oh, it's a joke. It's not serious. Go fuck yourself. No, all this shit online is fucked up. Anytime that you go online anonymously like a little pussy bitch and you fucking talk shit, spread defamatory stuff, slander someone, that's fucked up shit. You are fucked up in the head. You're a messed up individual. Because someone who has a positive, constructive, happy life does not do that. I will repeat that for those of you out there who don't get it. If you have a good life, you don't go shit on others constantly. You enjoy your good life. So those people have horrible fucking lives themselves, and instead of seeking to improve it, all they want to do is ruin everyone else who has a good life. So that's why they do it, and it's just totally fucked up. Do I feel like I have any kind of emotional attachment to my mod team? Um, it depends on what you mean by that. Like, some of my mods are very long-standing mods. We've been through a lot, you know what I mean? Like, over the years, there's been quite a lot of stuff that, that we've been through together. You know, all the waves of shit that I've been through, right? So, in some regards, for mods who have been around a long time, I would consider them my friends. You know, through thick and thin, they've helped me out year after year. And I absolutely appreciate that, and they know that. So, yeah, there's some some of my mods I would definitely consider my friends. Um, what, what the what? Tip me a dollar saying, I'm a big friend of your content. I feel like you're my only friend. Well, just so you know, to clarify, I'm not your personal friend. I don't know who you are. However, I understand that some people may feel like they have a, a connection to me via a kinship as gamers or as people because i share stuff with you guys every day and you know about the stuff i go through maybe you find a little bit of kind of uh association with that maybe you've been through some of that stuff yourself and i appreciate the, the support and i appreciate the sentiment however understand i'm not really your close friend that's not a good thing to say <clears throat> let's be realistic here you know what's really funny about my trolls is that they're so fucking dumb that they just don't realize how dumb they are and like so a, a cheer just came in and i'm not even going to read the whole thing because there's insults and stuff in it but I love the hilariousness of how stupid they are that they think that they know anything about anything and they're so wrong. So this one I'm actually going to entertain just because it's funny. So this guy is saying, I've said that all of my gaming equipment is for business purposes, right? But the Switch, recently my wife's been playing it, right? Fair enough. My wife has been playing it recently and so that's not a business purpose. So how can I say that that's a tax write-off, all right? Truth of the matter is, my Nintendo Switch is not a tax write-off and never was. My Nintendo Switch um, was purchased for me by a fan, remember? Do you guys remember in 2017? I bought a Switch and it fucked up. It broke. And, uh, you know, it actually uh, couldn't... I couldn't play it. I had to return it. And I was told by Best Buy they had no idea when there would be others available. <clears throat> so a fan of mine actually bought me one. So in reality, my Nintendo Switch is not considered a business asset because I didn't buy it. A fan bought it for me. Yeah, so in reality, maybe that's something that's technically I've, I've misspoken or I've, I've said things incorrectly about because I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, yeah, that Switch actually is not a business write-off. Never did I claim that on my taxes, you know, as a write-off or anything like that because that was bought for me. Nintendo, we do. Yes, business-related. I do still own it. Nintendo Switch? Yes, business-related, and I do still own it. <clears throat> paragraph to insult me with a cheer saying that I'm wrong about what I'm saying about my business write-offs and stuff. And it's hilarious. It's like, I never even did what this person's accusing me of doing. They're just idiots. <laughs> I like Wrestle Wrestle cheers. Do you think Nick Ricchietta is a detractor? I don't know who the fuck is Nick Ricchietta. <laughs> what? Who is that? Right, whatever. Let's continue. 30. All right. Where it looks like we've hit the tip skull. The only thing I want to do is I want to be a little bit safe here. Thank you again, everyone, for your support. I can't believe 30 straight freaking streams. I almost crapped a little bit. I seriously almost popped a turd out in my pants. How do I put this fire out? Oh. 
Oh my god, the common intelligence level of the common gamer. Oh my god. So if anyone has anything to talk about for these last 15 minutes of the stream, I'm all ears, I'd like to talk. I don't like mining and being bored. I'm talking to myself, so...